Hello everyone and um welcome to another Skyblock video. Uh sorry for not uploading yesterday, but I'll make it up to you and upload it two times today. Uh this one this video is the first one and I will have another one coming soon. Oh yeah. By the way, there's money something about money or bizarre flipping in the title of this video um i'm not going to show you how to make money so if you came here to know how to earn money or basically you already know how to make money well whatever you could still watch this video just for some helpful tips but today we're going to help you unlock the bizarre faster Without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Hope you enjoy, and if you can, like and subscribe, please. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, basically, today, we're going to be telling you uh, how to unlock Bazaar quickly. So, basically, what you want to do is, when you're over there, where I am, uh, and punch in. You want to look a bit to the right, and then you'll see this wheat or this smiley face, I think. I don't really know. But you want to go here and get a good server that has a lot of wheat, and you just want to you just want to go ham on this. You just want to farm this for like 10 minutes, and then you'll be completely fine, and you would have a level 7. I'm just about to reach level 8, I believe. So, yeah, bam, we just reached level 8. Uh, yeah. So you might be wondering, hey, why are you, why are you teaching me how to unlock the bazaar? What is the bazaar, most importantly? So the bazaar is basically a money making NPC so you basically could make a bunch of money by selling crops um, animals meat materials like like diamonds iron or even sand you could also sell enchantments and a bunch of other stuff now you might be wondering. Okay, so then why do you need level 7 specifically for farming? Well, you need level 7 for farming, mining, and then also foraging. Now, I just taught you how to do the farming level 7. I am going to now teach you how to do farming uh, in a different area, if you want, I'm not saying you need to, but if you want, it's, it's really up to you, you know, it's whatever, like, if you don't feel comfortable farming here, you could just go from over there, just make sure you get, like, one level, or maybe five, forget how much you need, but basically, you just come from over there, to all the way over here. It's called the Farming Islands. And then you're here. You need a good server. As you can see, I just did get a bad server. But you, if you get a good server, you can get a ton of wheat. Um, yeah. So basically, and then after you get Farming Level 7, next up we have Mining Level 7. So we go up here through the barn. And rather, you could do some nice parkour up there, or you could just go this way. It doesn't really matter. It's probably the same speed. I haven't really tested out. But anyways, uh, I don't know if there's any door requirements for the Desert Settlement, but yeah, this is called the Desert Settlement. For this, you will need a Golden Shovel with basically any level of efficiency. And then you need to go to the Desert Settlement. And then when you're here, you, all you have to do is just mine the sand. Now, you're probably wondering, why sand? I saw a YouTube video on it. They were mining, like, diamonds, obsidian, 
and maybe even some diamond blocks. But sand is actually better. It's easy to break, super fast to break, may I add. And it gives plus 3 XP per sand uh, broken. So that means every sand you break is plus 3 XP. So you would need it. And with the golden shovel, it will be zooming quick. But for example, if you just have a normal fist, it's like one, two, two seconds. But with a gold shovel, it's like instant, basically. You could literally get an instant shovel where you could just run and then it, all the blocks will be broken. So that's how you do mining. And there's actually a way to... Um, do the foraging it's a little bit different there's really no tricks to it it's just a little help and a little uh tips on it so basically what you would need is you would need a golden axe with any level of efficiency or a promising axe now i'm going to show you where you can get promising axe but for a golden axe all you need, you, just like the shovel, all you need is just some gold ingots. And uh, if you haven't played Minecraft and you're playing Skyblock, I, I don't know what you're doing. But I, so you need three ingots for the axe, one ingot for the shovel, whatever, whatever. I bet a lot of you know that, whatever. Anyways, when you, when you come out of that place to get... The promising axe. All you need to do is come to the lumber merchant. You want to click on him. He will talk, and then you just want to click on on him again. And then there should be a promising axe. It costs thirty five coins. Uh, now, if you can't, if you if you can't afford that, what I would recommend is probably selling the wheat that you farmed or maybe even the sand that you mined but after you do that get the promising axe or even a golden axe with efficiency and then you just want to go over here or you could go out there you want to go up here all the way past the bartender and you want to go to the lumberjack but don't talk to him you can talk to him if you want but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, so all you have to do is basically chop down a ton of these wood. You could just chop down this one, this one, this one, those, and those, that one. And yeah, then you'll get a bunch. And with the Promising Axe, I recommend it because you'll gain Efficiency 1 after breaking 50 blocks. Now, with the Golden Axe, it's just permanent efficiency you can't really do anything about it but as you can see it does have a countdown so as soon as you break a block it will count down as you can see i just lagged there sorry about that but if you mine enough blocks you will be able to get efficiency one and i think it is permanent on the axe so anyways that is how you do forging and uh yeah Oh yeah, you can also get an axe if you chop enough axe uh, wood from the merchant. It's not really good. I wouldn't really recommend it. Don't don't grab it. it it's actually trash. Um, but anyways, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Without further ado, I'm kind of hungry. Like and subscribe. I really need views.